Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I hope all is well. I hope all is going well. And if you feel like it's not or it's just not, it's going to get better. Today, we're going to be talking about how locks are special, why they are so special, as well as what you can get away with with locks. So if you're interested in it, let's get started. So the first thing is you are able to use a lot of water. So what do I mean by that? I talked about this in my video before where uh the, it was titled real expectations for your locks for your hair on your lock journey so in the process of me speaking in that video i talked about the shrinkage and that's something people really don't like but it works for your good on the long journey because if you're somebody that sprays your hair with a lock tonic every day or sprays your hair with water every day your hair is being protected because it's coated your hair is wrapping around itself making just a cocoon like a permanent cocoon so that your hair is protected from certain elements like if you were to you know spray your hair with a lock tonic or water so you can use water literally every day i wash my locks sometimes every day sometimes every other day sometimes every three days but i also definitely spray my locks every day with my lock tonic which includes uh spring water and a few other things so that's something that you can get away with because if you have loose natural hair, there is no barrier of protection when your hair is just out and you're just constantly wetting it. So that's where the high roof fatigue comes in at because it's constant, constant constricting and expanding, constricting and expanding. Whereas though with locks, like it does that, but your hair is protected. So you won't experience that. The only way that water is going to really be damaging to your locks is if you're someone that constantly goes to sleep with wet hair you can cause mold and mildew in your locks so don't do that don't go to sleep with super wet hair you want to make sure your hair is completely dry before you go to sleep so that you're not causing mold and mildew so i hope that helps you if you see me looking over it's because i made a list and i want to be clear on the things i'm talking about and getting through to y'all as well the other thing is if you have a brassy look with your locks because like you know sometimes the color that you put on your hair may come out brassy or you know if you're someone like me the last like box dye job that I did um I only brought one box of dye that was my own personal fault so my hair was very brassy it wasn't like my normal way of doing color jobs like if you've seen me do color hair before it's always pretty even so that happened um, I have a short one. If you scroll down, you can see how that happened and how I did a color correction and toned it with semi-permanent dye. So the cool thing about having the brassiness on the locks is, you know, you can see it on this side. On this side, it's a little more even is that you can get away with that with locks and you're not going to have people being like, oh my God, what happened? Like, it just looks so dope um, as time definitely goes on. Like, yeah, you want to have even color, but if it comes out brassy on your locks, you can get away with that unless like, you know, it's like a super botched dye job, you know, but for the most part, you can have brassy locks and it still be a whole vibe and a whole thing. And, you know, it still looks somewhat even and, you know, good. So that's something else you can get away with. The next thing is, you know how we are about our hair as, as women. You don't have to worry about getting your hair wet when it comes to the shower or when it comes to outside you know if you're out and you know it's going to rain you don't have to panic and be like oh my god what am i going to do my hair going to get messed up you got locks you know so you can get away with being in the rain with your locks being wet and it not being a problem if you're in the shower and your locks getting are getting wet and you're doing some activities in the shower you don't have to worry about you know your locks getting messed up because you got locks like you know you got locks it's not like you know you have straightened hair or something like that and you're like oh my god i need to cover my hair up if my hair get wet up in the showers no you had an advantage baby like your hair you could just go put that thing under the shower water you could be in the water so keep that in mind that's something you can get away with if it rains outside or it snows outside you go outside with your locks they're not going to get messed up you just got locks so keep that in mind the other thing is it is better length retention like sometimes we can do protective styles or get them done by someone and it might be you know too tight it might be too much for our hair when it comes with you know locks they are a really good um way to protect your hair and to gain length retention and so 
you don't have if if it's done correctly if your maintenance is done correctly you don't have to worry about you know damage from your locks and things like that the only way that happens is if you're doing something involved in um you know damaging your hair like you know it being too tight something like that so that's another thing the other thing is no more bad hair days like when you have locks it's not like you know you have loose natural hair you're like you know let's say you can't get to the store to get the hair you want or things like that you won't have to be like oh my god what am i going to do with my hair you got locks your hair is done it's done baby the locks are done so you don't have to worry about whether your locks are going to you know what are you going to do to your hair because your locks are done you wear them down whatever way you're going to wear them your locks are always done so the next thing is you can use minimal product. When we're on a loose natural hair journey, journey, I said journey, journey, we always want to use like a plethora of products. We don't have to do that on a lock journey. Literally, you can use three products and be on the go, shampoo, conditioner, or deep conditioner, and you know, your tonic. That's it. You know, with loose natural hair, you're using more products. You know, some people say you you only have to use three products when you're a loose natural. For some people, that's not enough. It's not, you know, moisturizing enough. Their hair is dry and people know their hair. So that's something to keep in mind. You can use a minimal amount of products and that's what happens. And this is my all time absolute favorite. The very special thing, one of the very special things about ha having locks is it really just brings out all of your features like if you you, you hairstyles can bring out your features you can bring out your features can just be brought out but locks really truly they bring out your features your facial features like people can really see that that's why women with locks when they lock their hair they just look so beautiful and with men they look so handsome because all of their facial features are brought out when they lock their hair so you know you to, to people you will look different because your features are brought out even more than versus if you were to you know get a weave or you were to straighten your hair like locks really bring all of your facial features out and people are really able to see that so that's all i have for you today on this video um on this nice monday i hope this really helps you i hope this really gives you an understanding of you know just some things you can get away with perks of having locks and i'll talk to y'all soon bye